Good day. I'm going to present to you right now the second part of um, module 7, Fruit at Home. This second part is devo uh, devoted to studying color development. So we will try to learn to see and interpret the nature and sensing of fruit color. We will look at several techniques used in instrumental color measurement just to show to you how this goes on when we work with all this area of study. And we will look a little bit on two applications, to peach and to banana, which are very uh, significant examples of fruit ripening. Color and the color development is the most obvious sign of ripeness of fruits. Pigments are green, red and yellow and blue. We have already talked about this and also recall what is presented in module three. The physical reality uh, for color is the optical refractive spectrum. We will see a little bit on it. Our perception of color is much less specific than what we can uh, measure with our instrumentation. And it evolved very early in our ancestral lines. It is combined for the purpose of uh, looking and deciding upon fruit ripeness. It is combined with a very high knowledge. Uh, regarding fruits, uh, uh, this knowledge uh, relates to species, varieties or cultivars and the development of ripeness in time and according to temperature. We also know that what, what our uh, eyes tell us about this uh, um, ripeness stage of fruits is related to other quality attributes in which we are very interested. How we sense color? Very fast. There is a, um, a science that is called colorimetry and it is the physics of color measurement and its relations to human visual color appreciation, which was uh, from very many years ago a, a very interesting um, point uh, to be certain for uh, humans. Um, and there we have the three stimular parameters that constitute the most simple way to analyze, explain, and compose instrumental color. The objective measurement of color is um, established in standard color coordinates. These coordinates um, were established by the Commission Internationale d'Eclairage. Uh, they are called XYZ in 1931. These coordinates uh, are derived as you see here, very uh, fast. You can address that in some of the complementing uh, documents that you have. They are based on the values of the reflectance or reflection energy in every one of these lambda that you see here. Lambda is the wavelength. So with these values, with these values, we compose x, y, and z. In 1976, these coordinates were transformed to establish the LAB coordinates, they derive by nonlinear transformation of X, Y and Z. These coordinates, which are, as you see, three numbers, describe all colors that the human eye is able to perceive in any solid or liquid body. And they are presented to you in this map here. Uh, the L uh, relates to the luminescence and it is the position on this radius of this circle, whereas A and B are the coordinates established in the position of this circle. So that you can see how we have here the greens, the greens in fruits will be uh, developing into yellows and reds and orange and this is, these are specific colors that have numbers, that means parameters or coordinates. Uh, so we can see those colors with very sophisticated sensors in our eyes. Being, being very fast also here, we have three types of sensors in our eyes, which are sensitive mainly to three areas, which cover the whole visible spectrum. So human apes and monkeys, as I told you, are all trichromatic. They are called like that. They see three colors and they are diurnal, so they work and eat during the day. They are insensitive to NIR and near infrared light. Whereas 
uh, uh, night animals, they are sensitive to NIR. And you may recall, we have seen lots of videos and everything. And we can have some instrument to put in on the eyes of humans to see also during the night with NIR. But we are trichromatic, and all these animals uh, that mm, precede us in the evolution are day animals, and they ate we, uh, leaves of tree leaves and also fruits. So we know now very well that fruit gathering animals possess similar, very similar color sensitivity as humans. How we sense the color? We have instruments to sense color. Apart from our vision, we have as instruments. These instruments can be as simple as standard color maps, which uh, give you a vis visual comparison with, with, mm, between the problem and some very wide uh, mm, mm, numbers of different colors that are represented in these maps. We have also visual colorimeters. They are called like that. They combine basic colors in different positions, and so you can also um, compare with your probe. Soils or also living biological, any type of biological materials. And non-biological, by the way. We have three stimular colorimeters, uh, which uh, uh, are measuring light and three broad bands, very much related to the way we see humans. And we have spectrometers. Spectrometers, uh, what they measure is multiple, very multiple narrow bands, can be 250 or lower, maybe 100, to compose a this spectrum from those bands. We have here an example. Let us look the fruit ripening uh, and the relationship between our vision and the spectro spectrometer. So we have here a set of seven bananas, some samples of bananas, that as you see very well, you should look at them with care. Uh, they they um, grow from very green to very yellow. And in some stage here, around this process of ripening of the banana, um, we, we are interested maybe in one of those. So I would like between this one and this one. Okay. Let me tell you that banana is one of the fruits, uh, with some others, that do not ripen completely on the tree. So they have to be harvested and let them to ripe out of the tree so that they can be edible. Um, with, uh, we can represent each one of these banana in one of those spectra. We have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spectra, and the last one is the very, very ripe one, the C8, which is this very clear line that we have been here. It's not commercial, it's really very, um, very old and senescent. All the rest are edible, up to this one. And they are represented by this spectrum, which means the average of the, color, of the reflectance in each one of these wavelengths along um, the whole banana, or sometimes just a part of the banana. So this, this, uh, they are averaged, and they are represented like this one. The average represents the, uh, really the status, the optical status of every one of these bananas.